Would you like to find great ideas for your book or for your articles or for your stories? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins and I'm an author from Ireland. And in this short video, I'm going to explain exactly how to use writing prompts to find great ideas. And then at the end of this video, I've got a very special bonus for you. So the first type of writing prompt you could consider is to think of a secret, to think of something somebody told you that only you know about, something that you haven't told anybody else about. Now, write about this secret. Don't hold yourself back. Just put down whatever you know on the blank page. Later on, you can worry about rewriting it so the people who told you the secret are protected or so you're not revealing anything too sensitive. But what you're really trying to do is when you write about secret is to say something that you shouldn't really say and to get past that internal censor or editor. Another type of writing prompt you can use is to consider a teacher from your past. So that this could be this could be a boss or it could be a mentor or it could be a, f a friend that you haven't seen in a long time, or it could actually just be a, be a, a teacher uh, who, who worked with you in school or college or university. And to write about what they taught you, because reflecting on what they taught you and on lessons learned will help you unlock fresh thinking and find interesting stories for your books. The next type of writing prompt that you can use is to consider what's in your memory. So you could write about something that happened a year ago or five years ago or 10 years ago or even longer than that and reflect on it and reflect on what this event meant to you then versus what it means to you now. It could be something life changing like the time you got married or divorced or it could be something smaller like the time you did something in work and something unexpected happened. Another type of writing prompt you can use is to write about something that shocked or surprised you or something that turned your world upside down. So this could be something some, somebody said to you, or it could be something unexpected that happened, or a sudden change of fortune, like the time a, a job didn't work out, or the time you thought one thing about somebody, but then you found out something else about them. Another type of writing prompt that you can use, and this is one that I sometimes like to use, and I know it's one that comedians use, is to write about what makes you feel angry. So if you've ever sat down in front of the blank page and you've tried to write something in you felt a little bit uninspired or the entire process has felt a bit grey and bland and boring. Think of something that fires you up. It could be a person that you met. It could be something that happened to you a few days ago. It could be a way of doing things that you really disagree with. Or it could be an idea that you're, you're firmly against. So write about that. Dig a little bit deeper into that angry emotion and use that to fuel what you put down on the blank page. And of course, another way that you can use a writing prompt is to write about the end. So rather than starting at the start of your book or your story, write about how you want things to work out. Write the final scene, write the last sentence, because when you write at the very end and work backwards, it turns things upside down and it makes it that bit easier to get started and to get going. Of course, these are just some of the types of writing prompts that I like to use, but my biggest tip for you is actually to build your personal library of writing prompts. So what you need to put in this personal library is interesting sentences, ideas, photographs, conversation snippets, things you think about. And it could be a single sentence or it could be a paragraph or it could be a question that you ask yourself. But if you build up a running list of writing prompts, Anytime you feel like you don't have anything good to write about or you feel a little bit uninspired, you can withdraw from this library and use it to write your next book chapter or your story or whatever it is that you want to write about. But to help you do just that, to help you build your personal library of writing prompts, I want to show you what's in my personal library of writing prompts. And I've put together a free booklet, 101 Proven Writing Prompts for new writers who want to get started faster. These writing prompts can help you with your book or with your story, or they can help you find ideas and unlock fresh thinking. The writing prompts are available for free. And what I would say to you is to take one of these writing prompts and to use it to either free write or to overcome a creative problem that you're having. And then also to use the writing prompts as inspiration for what to put in your personal library. And the details for getting these writing prompts are next to the video. Thanks for watching.